All right. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Melanie Nelson here, director of TLS. And just want to um, let you guys know, you should be so proud of yourselves. You are doing incredible. You are making progress. You are, and that's what it's about. It's not about perfection. It's about progress, taking those steps, incorporating new healthy habits, finding new healthy foods you love, um, incorporating exercise, all of the things that you're doing are making a difference. Now, sometimes within weight loss, we can get frustrated and it can be so frustrating and so discouraging when results maybe slow down. Um, it, it's easy for 10 10 little sneaky, 10 or 11 sneaky little habits to come in and slow our results. So let's talk about those. Let's talk about how to uh, measure, monitor, and make small adjustments so we can continue to see the results we want, feeling like a million bucks, and, uh, and headed towards our, our health goals and our weight loss goals. So one of the ones that might be really super obvious, so I'm just going to start with it, is exercise. Are you exercising three times a week or more? And that is such a crucial aspect to, to increasing metabolism, burning our fat, utilizing um, something as simple as movement. And you don't have to spend two hours in the gym, but you definitely need to spend 20 to 30 minutes with an increased heart rate, getting a sweat on and challenging your body in some shape, way, shape or form. And you're all very different. So you're all going to need to, um, you know, do that with your own, you know, your, your personal trainer, a fitness app, um, our fitness guides that are on tlsslim.com is maybe that sort of fallen to the wayside. And, and you know what, sometimes the fact that you got up early in the morning and, and you did move and maybe it wasn't the best workout on the planet, but you did it. And that's, you know, that deserves a round of applause that deserves, um, celebration for sure. But it might be one of those things where, you know what? Hey, I'm not really challenging myself enough in these workouts or let me find ways to challenge myself more safely. Um, I'm a big fan of hiring people who have expertise I don't have. And so working with a trainer even once or twice just to get the kind of knowledge you need to to make it and take it to the next level in your exercise um, is a fantastic way to do that here's another really sneaky one that comes into play um, if you're a coffee drinker even if it's our trim cafe which is amazing right um, you might start just adding a little sugar or creamer or something along those lines to it and so a little bit every day right? It, it's not a big deal once in a blue moon. It's, it, it certainly isn't a big deal once a week, but if you're doing that every day, plus maybe a couple other ones of these, it's going to slow results. Um, and so it's important that maybe your journaling and your tracking has uh, slowed down. And whenever your results slow down, it's always really important to get back to journaling and tracking what you're doing so that you can make those adjustments. You can measure and monitor and adjust what it is you're doing. And you look back at the week and you go, well, no wonder I only lost one pound and not you know three. It's because I did this, 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 and this. And so being really honest with our journaling and tracking is very, very helpful to our own expectations and managing the that emotional response to those expectations. All right, something that can um, affect our metabolism, it can affect our leptin hormone and insulin resistance is not getting very good sleep. And when we stay up late, we maybe Netflix a little late, or, um, you know, we just, we're not taking care of that sleep, we can see uh, results slow down in our weight loss efforts. And so that is something to be paying attention to. We have some incredible support products. If you have trouble falling asleep, if you have trouble staying asleep, if you have an active mind, if you have an active body that just doesn't seem to want to calm down at night, we have some incredible, incredible sleep uh, support. And depending on maybe why um, you're having sleep issues, we have different sort of ways to attack that, whether that's with our isotonics turn down, um, our 
our prime um, sleep product, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we have things like our TLS Axe or our Cannabiquin that can also help calm the body and mind. And so um, we can we can help you get the handle. Definitely check with your TLS coach on that if you feel like that's a factor for you. Um, the other one that's easy to kind of stop tracking and forgetting about is dun, 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 your water intake, right? This is, oh, we're talking like no less than 64 ounces. And ideally, most of you probably should be between 100 and 110 ounces a day of water when you're looking at weight loss and, and helping the body detoxify and all of those things, we need to keep an eye on our water intake, especially if our sodium levels went up for any reason, maybe you kind of splurged on a couple olives or, you know, uh, you did have a splurge, which we're going to talk about here in a second, like late night snacking or in the car snacking or in the office snacking, right? It's easy when we have little stashes that, that we have put in the car, the purse, the office desk, um, or we go for a late night snack when we're when we're watching some TV or something like that. Um, that can increase. We, uh, chances are we're we're doing something sweet or salty, and either way, that can impact um, our water intake as well. So those kind of can go hand in hand sometimes, and it's really important that you have healthy alternatives on hand, right? This is why our TLS shake. And the fact that you can make cookies and muffins and brownies with it um, allow you to have those types of things on hand when you absolutely just cannot, you know, make it through and you need to have <laughs> one of those snacks and you can just keep them in your car, keep them in the office, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So you have that TLS shake, that those snacks readily available. One of my favorite things, because I'm guilty of this, um, late night snacking, by the way, uh, that is that is something that um, I have to be very conscious of. And so the shake is one of my go-tos, but so is a little bit of celery with peanut butter and raisins on top. We call, we call that when I was a kid, ants on a log. And uh, I love that snack. It's so fantastic, right? You get the crunchiness of the um, celery and the freshness of it with the, with the sweet raisins and the salty peanut butter. It's literally perfect sweet salty mix. And that is, you know, those are the things that we teach in TLS is how to find those fun and healthy alternatives so that you don't feel deprived um, and that you, you know, you can snack. Um, speaking of snacks, this is the other sneaky habit that can can come in is when we're skipping meals or skipping snacks. There's a reason we do three meals and two snacks in TLS. It keeps your blood sugar level even, especially when you're um, really following those low glycemic index foods and food combinations. You're going to be feeling like a million bucks. You're going to be feeling satiated or full. You're going to be feeling full of energy. Um, you're going to be in that fat burning mode when we keep the blood sugar levels even with our menu plans and meal plans. So no skipping meals or snacks. So that might be one of those sneaky habits that's gotten into your routine. The other one might be, ooh, portion sizes. Okay, it's so easy to, um, it was for me, I was a chronic overeater. So uh, portion sizes. Are you kidding me? Um, you could, you would, wouldn't believe what I would be able to put, um, into my body. I, I used to work at the Outback Steakhouse, uh, you know, in my teens and I could eat a whole plate of whatever I ordered entree wise and polish off the entire chocolate thunder from down under by myself. And, uh, you know, that's certainly not anything to be proud of. However, uh, I had no, my, my leptin hormone was not working. It was not telling me I was full. It wasn't telling me to push the plate away. Thank goodness for our core. So if overeating or portion sizes is still a concern for you, our TLS core is absolutely crucial for you to continue on with until we can um, you know, really solve that problem where you have control over food instead of food controlling you. And so um, one of the things that I learned very early on, probably about 15 years ago when I first started working with TLS is um, 
you know, sometimes it's overwhelming to be like, well, what's three ounces or how many hundred, what's a hundred grams or what's, you know, what is a portion size, right? How do I portion out? Well, one of the easiest ways that I had learned from um, the first TLS trainer I ever learned from was use your own hand. When in doubt, use your own hand. <laughs> okay. So um, this is the amount of veggies I can, I can have on my plate. And I usually like to do three or four. Like I always do a veggie medley because variety is the spice of life. Okay. And you want more color on your plate. This would be my protein, right? This would be my starch. And, and so just my fingers and I have small hands. You might not have small hands. Your hand is your guide for a reason. <laughs> okay. Um, it's perfect for you. And so I'm five foot two. I'm, I'm a smaller person. And so my hand is my perfect uh, uh, portion size. You know, your fist is also something that you can use for um, a protein, protein size. Right. And uh, you know, like if you look like a little fillet, right? This is a six ounce fillet right here. <laughs> so um, that is how uh, I often portion control now because I'm not one to measure. Now, maybe you are, maybe you are one who needs to measure and that's, that's how you stay on track. Keep doing that. Okay. Keep doing what works for you. I'm just sharing you what works for me. So last two, you guys, whoo eating out more. That is definitely, definitely going to be guilty of slowing down your results. Uh, restaurant food, even when you are choosing the leaner, cleaner, you're putting things on the side or taking them off or saying, I don't want the cream. Can you get me the tomato sauce? I don't want the ranch. Get me the oil and vinegar. Um, hold the cheese, you know, uh, doing a salad instead of the rice or noodles. Even when you're choosing these things, do understand that there's going to be um, more sodium, more chemicals, more everything in restaurant food. It's also more dead, meaning there's less nutrition, nutritional value by the time it gets to your plate, <laughs> right? I mean, unless we're talking about like farm to table type restaurants, uh, typically the food has been um, sprayed with, you know, preservatives so that it doesn't go bad. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of things they do. I worked in the restaurant industry. And so that is often too why you can eat and then feel hungry shortly after eating out. And so it's, it's not possible for you to never eat out again or enjoy the, the, the social, the uh, experience of dining out. I'm not, I'm not trying to ruin that for you, I promise. <laughs> but I do want to let you know, be cognizant of that potentially slowing down your results and just be really uh, clear about, you know, well, why am I dining out? Am I dining out because that's always been the way I celebrate? Well, how about celebrating a different way? Buying a new outfit or going to the spa, getting a facial, getting a massage, um, you know, going and attending a sports game and buying tickets to a concert. I mean, these types of things are all amazing ways to reward ourselves that don't have to do with food right? Why we have been conditioned, I believe, to celebrate with food um, or, you know, treat our emotions and, and, and with food like it's, you know, medication, right? So eating out is oftentimes our way to celebrate or be social. And so there is definitely other ways to celebrate. There's definitely other ways to be social. Um, and those are fun things to find, new traditions and last but not least is alcohol. Has that started sneaking its way back in? I know we said 30 days on the jumpstart kit without alcohol, but you know what? It's a lot to ask people to, to stop partaking in their favorite cocktail, their glass of wine. Um, but doing it for at least three weeks is absolutely crucial in our TLS uh, program. And the health benefits alone are worth it. I want to tell you a little bit about a 2018 research uh, a study that was conducted by the Royal Free Hospital um, and released in the British Medical Journal. And it showed that just 30 days of quitting alcohol, lowered blood pressure and cholesterol levels, led to weight loss, led to improved sleep, lowered the risk of diseases, decreased blood protein levels, which is very preventative in the sense of diseases, improves 
improved mood and energy levels, not to mention you save a ton of money. Are you kidding me? Alcohol bypasses the normal digestive process and it turns to glycogen, stores as fat, it's immediate. And so if you're looking to lose those last 10 pounds, I can guarantee you, those are the ones that sit right at that belly button area uh, because it's basically, it turns to sugar, turns to fat. It's, it's um, going to impact our results. More than three uh, alcohol choices a week, our, our glasses of alcohol a week are going to impact or slow our results. So chances are, if your results have slowed down, it's really important to journal, get back to journaling and tracking what you're doing so you can look back. It's easy to forget the little cheats here and there, right? Like the little snacking in the car or like, oh, one won't hurt me, but then one every day and then it turns into two every day. And we know this slippery slope well. Every one of us at TLS knows it well because we've been through it personally. And so um, just know that if you do your journaling and tracking, you can look back and go, okay, that's what I've been doing. That's what I need to adjust. That's what I need to tweak so you can get back on track. And again, knowing that the Jumpstart program is our strictest program to get you the best results right up front so that you can feel awesome and motivated and jumpstart your lifestyle that know that you're going to transition into another TLS program that is probably more lenient, in which case you can always come back to whenever you want uh, to the jumpstart program and, and the way that we teach that program, but know that this is not forever um, and that you can find those healthy alternatives. You can find uh, the, the thing, new things to love, new things to enjoy. Um, and I think there's nothing that tastes better than healthy feels. And if you've been watching our Wednesdays, you um, heard Patty last week uh, or this last Wednesday talk about you know, coming through that first 30 days was so tough for her. And now she feels like a million bucks. Now she doesn't want the cheeseburger from the fast food lane like she did. Now she wants the turkey burger. Um, and so there is, a, there is a switch that flips. There is a turning point that happens. And believe me, if you have not hit that turning point yet, um, you will. So just stay the course, as Dennis Franks always says, and you will make it. We promise we care about you. Please definitely comment. Let us know how you're doing and ask any questions you might have. So we so appreciate you being a part of this. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.